first I want to thank my my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ first. Um, just just been praying and just and receiving everything that that I feel that from him. Then I just tell my teammate, starting that locker room, starting that locker room, make sure that all the players just knew that um, that was unacceptable. Um, we apologize how how the effort we play with most before, and we just know we just know. We just know what to do now, and um, practicing um, practice the last two days was very hard, um, like it should, like it should be, and it prepared us for today. And we showed, we showed out, and we did what we were supposed to do. How much did you put some of that on your shoulders to try to change things? I know you like to get your guys in position, you like to set guys up, but you seem to be more aggressive from the jump, enforcing your shot more than you did on on Wednesday. Were you putting some extra something on your shoulders to try to spark things? I mean, of course, uh, I'm not. I don't like being down by 40. I'm uh, just trying to be completely honest. Like, uh, so like me waiting around trying to shoot the ball. Like, in this league with these type of players, yeah, you can't do that. Uh, I figured it out. I learned. I learned from it. Now, today I was aggressive and uh, <coughs> sorry, and it helped us uh, a lot today. And got the win. Devin, what's been important for improving your game? I mean, you were you were very efficient underneath the basket in this one. Uh, I mean, just feeling, feeling where they at for on defense. Um, I'm, you know, I've been in the post scoring since like high school days, so I mean, ain't nothing new. Um, just you know, playing my game. For you, and only took you 17 minutes. Uh, the first 17 minutes, you had 22 points. Uh, you, you got in foul trouble early. Come back in, and really, just at the start of that second half, you were a big part of helping create the separation in this game. How did you stay locked in after getting in foul trouble to start? Uh, just hearing my coaches talking to me, you know, just talking to my uh, teammates, you know, still getting in the game, still talking about, you know, defense-wise what we need to do. Um, just, you know, being being locked in really is just the main thing. Coaches telling me, you know, lock in for the second half, get warmed up. Um, so I'm just, you know, just really focused on the game for winning the game. Bruce, you, you matched up with, with Dylan Harper a couple times on both sides of the floor. Just what did you think of, of him and, and going up against him? Uh, he's he a great guard, great physical guard. Um, I ain't know who that's all, yeah, but he's a great guard. Um, yeah, how he can get downhill and set, um, set his guys up was was kind of impressive, especially being a freshman. But um, we let him get too many opportunities today. We try to make sure we get the ball out of his hands, him and, and Bailey. But yeah, he's a he's a great guard. Both of you, 46 points in the paint. Was there something that allowed you guys to kind of get to the rim and score inside almost seemingly at will? Just did you guys see something in Rutgers or just a matchup? Just why do you guys think you were so successful in, in the paint? Uh, I just feel like opposing our will. Uh, we have a lot of guys that can have a high night, as you can see. It could be Michi, it could be me, it could be Dev, it could be Micah, it could be Junie. Like, you just don't know, right? And um, Devin was hot today. We were seeing the mismatch um, early. He got a foul trouble. Got back in, we gave it to him again because um, it's a matchup of problems, I feel like. And if somebody get hot, that drives attention on somebody else. Then I can get hot, then Junie start making shots. Then it is it created um, uh, an effect that like it's hard to just scout one person. Um, the guards that you guys have, the three-point shooting that this team has, how how much does that help the inside game, and how how and in what ways did it matter today? Uh, I feel like it helps a lot. Um, I mean, we we big on stats, so if we get if we touch the paint, our coach touch, we shoot like eighty percent, or we did to this game. So I just feel like we we got a lot of guards that can make shots, and we gotta get more the defense more compact in, help in, so we can get them open shots more. And Bruce, what would you say to the thought that? Here in these last few games, the way Devin's scoring, like this guy's becoming one of the best scorers, if not players, in the Big Ten. What would your, what would you say to that? Uh, he he just continu continuously keep putting in work each and every day. Um, he don't do nothing different. He, he come up, he come to practice, he show up. Uh, he got great energy. He got great toughness, and that just he just an everyday guy. So like when you have players like that, it just make my job as a point guard easier. Bruce, it seemed like Ace was kind of almost scoring at will early in the second half, and then uh, later on, you guys kind of you guys really were able to put a little more defense on him. What, what changed uh, from the first half, and then to that little stand in the second, and then for the rest of the remainder second? Uh, first of all, um, uh, he's a, he a good player. And he's six ten. And he jumped really high, so like, ain't really high. And certain, even like Evan, like when he jump and shoot, like there's no contest. So uh, you almost got to. You gotta just make him miss early. You gotta make sure you pressure him. Try to be physical before he jump because before when he jumps and shoot, like it's nothing you can possibly do. So 
we, he got off a little bit because he's, he's a great um, great player, a lot of size. Um, but we just knew we had a crowd him even more than um, and we did that second in, in the second half. Can you guys both speak to the impact of Austin today? Uh, it was great, um, especially not um, especially not having AB. Um, uh, we still um, keep in contact with him, make sure that he's okay uh, mentally and physically, and make sure. But there's always the next man up. And yeah, Austin did a great job today. Uh, it was on him a lot during practice because we needed him and we needed and we know what he's capable of doing. So we're gonna keep pushing him, and he showed he showed up today, and we're gonna keep pushing him on for the rest of the season. Yeah, kind of same thing he says. Just you know, he he we just needed him to step up, and he did today. So we just very proud of him for it. We was harping on him a lot like for the last couple of days. So you know, it feel good that you know he's been out there and play hard. That's all we asked for. <laughs> Bruce, um, especially in the second half, the on-ball defending was much better. You got guys got some easy turnovers, points off those turnovers. Is that something that you focused on since the Maryland game? And is that kind of an effort thing, or is it really a strategy watching film that goes into all that? Uh, I would say 70-30. Uh, defense is definitely an effort thing, Did, uh, and that and rebounding. But us taking the, the details that our coach show us and doing that on the court, and that's a, that's a big factor, especially you got high usage guys like Bailey and Harper. And we knew like they they score half of their points. They combine almost like 50 to 55 points. So us are just knowing like these are the two main guys, so we got to stop them. And, I mean, different games came with, come with different challenges, but just for this game, we just knew we had to be in the gaps and make them see crowds the whole night. And Devin, um, we were talking about we already talked about your post play, but this was kind of more of a classic Big Ten, you know, body banging type of game. I mean, mm. do you enjoy playing that style? I mean, is that something that you kind of get up for and get energized for? You're already nodding, yeah. Yeah, I, I love that. That's, I always love, you know, being, playing physical, man. I just since high school, I just love doing that. You know, that's one of the big strengths of my game. I can play physical, finish through contact. So, I just something I love to do. So if I if it's gonna happen, I have no problem with it. <laughs> Yeah, I guess for both you guys, to be able to come out after four days after a 24-point loss on the road, to, to come out and play this way and, and win by double digits against a pretty talented Rutgers team, like, what, what does it say about, I guess, the resiliency of, of this locker room? Uh, we, just, we just understand it. You just, we, took, we took the loss for what it is. We ain't trying to blame nobody. We ain't trying to look no other way. Like, yo, like we, just, we lost. We messed up real bad. And we went in the film room. We looked at it, practiced hard. We went back the next day, practice hard, watch film, had a good shoot around this morning, and we displayed what we can do. And I feel like um, we just got to be consistent each and every night and just show the world what, what Austin basketball is about. Yeah, kind of same thing. You know, we just moved on quick from it. We watched the film, went over it, talked about it, on to the next. Like, we mm -hmm. can't do much about it. It's already happened. So, really, all you can do is focus on the next game. Mm -hmm. Do you think this one could maybe catapult you to more success in Big Ten play? Obviously, there's – Big game against Auburn and Kentucky, other big teams coming up. I mean, any any big team win can catapult you. Uh, it's, it's not easy. I've been on the other side when losing most of the game, so you just can make sure you just cherish the game for for what it is for the whole day. And then, they, then next day, just a whole, whole new challenge, a whole new mission, and you get ready for that game. So we definitely want to celebrate um, getting our first big team win this year. Devin, when did you realize you had a career high? No, uh, probably when I came out the end, I looked up and everybody was cheering. I just looked up and seen it. So that was probably when I, when I looked at it. Thought? If I ain't getting foul trouble, I'd get a little bit more for real. <laughs> yeah, that was probably what my, my thought. is like, man, I got in foul trouble early. But, I mean, we still came out in the win, so that's all that mattered for real. And then, Bruce, when Michi's struggling from the field, what's it like seeing him make some of those passes that he did and affect the game in different ways? Um, it showed his poise, his maturity. Um, and it's just great that, that I just know, like, one game, like, his shot going to fall. And it's going to be really hard to stop me and him in the backcourt, his shot's falling. So I just trying to keep him, um, to say the most positive thing I could possibly say constantly. Because I, I, I've been on that side, and just, when your shot not falling, you're putting so much work in, like, trying to figure it out why. But I just tell him to just, like, keep God first, yo. Like, just keep putting in the same work, yo. Your time going to come. I probably, when we need you most, you're going to show up. So that's the main thing. So I'm very proud of him how he played today. Bruce, just you, you said how like you've been on the other side of games like this. You've dealt with Big Ten losses. What you, you touched this a little bit at the, at the beginning, but to, to you said you didn't like being down forty. You know that was a really difficult loss for you guys on yeah. Wednesday. What were these last two or three days like for you? And and what was it like trying to make sure that that didn't become 
something. You know, that was a second straight loss. It was what what were these last couple of days like for you? It was, it was more mental than anything. It was more mental than anything because it's so easy to to blame like ah oh, like man you can or it can be like it is what it is type of situation. And that could be a negative effect on your mind, and it could be it could be to a point where you can pour, pour that to somebody else. Now, uh, and that can start to be a bad snowball effect. So I try to I nip it in the bud as fast as I possibly could, uh, even though I couldn't watch the film because like, like I couldn't like bear to watch it. But I just knew it was bad though, so we watched it as a team. But I just understand that like, was what can I do to help my team be the best we possibly can? And due to the situation we just had, because. It's easy just to put my head down, get quiet, stand aside. But I just know, like, we have ni- we have 19 more games, thinking that, uh, 19 more big team games. So I, I need my guy, I need the coach, I need Buckeye Nate. So how can I be, how can I help my teammates more? Than, and them helping me, and then me helping them, I feel like just coexist with each other. Or did not watch the film? Not personally on my own. No, but forced by the coaches' staff, but like I didn't want to watch it. Yeah. You normally do watch film on your own. Yeah, I do, but like, I just, yeah. 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 Really yeah. Ask Bruce, games, only twice. Oh, man. What yeah, bro, y'all ain't talking about man done like that. He's my boy, Sean, through the sky. Yeah, 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 big dog. Okay. I mean, that's, that's normal. That's normal. My fault. He's like, damn, my fault, man. My fault. And like, I'm just small, so I don't have all like. Yeah, I feel you. I'm saying I throw the love. You right here, no. Yeah, you be you be doing it in practice. Nah, not practice. <laughs> <laughs> so just. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.